Yeah. So we're investigating it now. You know, we give certain authority uh, to the city to regulate their parking uh, matters. Uh, but certainly the idea of giving these private vendors to change rates, charge what they want, but then either take your car or to put your boot in your car. So we're looking at it now at a state level from a consumer protection angle. You know, our consumers being duped into these lots only to be charged extra dollars. And do we really want to give a private vendor the right to actually take your car away um, and to hit you with really big fees to, to get it back? Uh, it seems like it's a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe for conflict. But it's also not good to, you know, we're trying to draw people in the downtown core. And if you have parking vendors who are trying to get extraordinary rates out of people at the same time, it's just not a good max. We don't price gouge. It, 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 the definition of price gouging doesn't, doesn't even make sense and th for, for what we do. We have such so few parking lots in the city of Buffalo. We're only in the city of Buffalo. Compared to people's alternative choices, they have an option. They don't have to park with us. You know what I mean? They can park in the street. They can park in our competitors' lots, ramps, and things like that. You know, And especially compared to like areas like Shays. You know, we, we may only have 300 parking spots around Shays, and Shays holds 3,000 people. Small percentage of the people that go to Shays park at our lots. But our lots are convenient for Shays, so those VIP people do park at our lots, and they're willing to pay a premium for it for parking close. Just like if you got a seat at the theater, you may want to sit in the front row, and you'll pay a premium for that. Or you might not want to, and you chose to sit in the, in the, up in the balcony, and you'll pay less. The same thing with our parking lots. We have parking lots that are a distance from Shays that you'd pay less and you'd walk a couple blocks, but our ones across the street, we do charge more for. You know, I know the other thing that uh, Sean Ryan was uh, concerned about is that the policy of towing or, or booting cars that don't pay properly, he thought that would be, it's too much of a deterrent. It's scaring people away from wanting to come into downtown Buffalo. What do you think about those I, I, ideas? I think, I think it would only be deterring, deterring people away that want to steal. We're very consistent. We are consistent on enforcing our policies that people pay for parking. They pay on the way in. We, well, I should just, we, we don't just have options that come away and they can pay online, they can pay with their telephone app. We, we give multiple choices for people to pay. We are consistent in our enforcing policies. So if it's deterring people that want to steal from you, then, it, then our enforcement policies are working. But we prefer everybody just to pay the regular rate on the way in and not, and not have to worry about being immobilized.